Hey, what is going on everybody? How are we all doing today? Today we are putting the Roborock E4 through my stress test. This is my only second Roborock ever owned. And as most of you know, I love my Roborock S5. It's an awesome vacuum. This is one of their cheaper ones. I think I paid 188 around Prime Day for Amazon. And I believe it retails around 279 or so. So we're gonna put this thing through the test. I think it's gonna do an awesome job. I'm gonna put our max suction like all the tests. And we'll see how it does after one run. And then we'll run it a second time if need be. And we'll see how well it does. I think it's gonna do a perfect job. I don't think there's gonna be anything at all left on this floor or carpet. So let me go and show you the mess as always. 12 jelly beans total. We got some chips, rice, and five inch and eight inch fake human hair. All right, so let's show you more of the mess. But I think I've accidentally put down more in this test than normal, but I still think it's gonna do a great job. I'd be really, really surprised if a Roborock doesn't just wow me. So pretty excited to see how this guy does. What do you guys think before we start this test? And then after it does this test, I'll do a larger area, which will include the rest of this entryway, as well as that extra room once I move all those boxes. So it should be a pretty good test, like always. This is the 12th robot vacuum I've done the same exact test to. If you haven't seen the other ones, I highly recommend checking out my previous videos. All right, let's get this guy going. Downloaded the app. I'm gonna put on max suction, like I said. Send it out to clean, and then this will make some sort of map at the end. And then we'll take a look at the app and all that good stuff at the end once it's done. So sit back and enjoy. Leave a comment. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. And I will get this going, and then we will speed it up for you. my first time running this thing at all so like I said I have very very high hopes I think it's gonna do awesome and I'm curious to see the pattern it does have a sensor at the bottom so it should do like most of the smart robots where it does this and this and this Let's just uh, check it out. Hopefully it does a good job. And this is one of the more rare robots nowadays that have a single side brush rather than both. And this one's also made out of rubber instead of brushes. It's like a spider leg or something. Kind of a cool looking robot. I like that flat black. You can see it's gonna be going perfect lines back and forth. As you can see, it's doing a very good job sucking up this stuff. See how well it does with jelly beans? Should be no issue. Oh, it's gonna have to get on the next round. All right, rather than bore you with this going for 20, 30 minutes, I'm just gonna go ahead and set this down and I'll speed it up for you. And we'll check out the results and then we'll talk about it.
All right. Uh, that's a first. Roborock E4 is done with that cleaning job. And I'm very surprised to see a big mess. It's like it missed this entire path all the way down. Didn't even get onto this rice or anything. That is very odd. I have not seen a Roborock do that. This is actually the 12th robot that I've done this test with, and none of them missed an entire section. So that's very weird. Let's see what the app shows us. So I only used 20% of the battery, which is nice. Ran for 25 minutes. That's kind of all the info you get out of this guy, unfortunately, because it's not a smart robot. I thought it was supposed to make... Oh, here it comes, yeah. All right, so it kind of made a map. That is weird. This is docked here. You can see my little computer cutout area. And then it, like... It, like, messed up... See you messed up there going up? That would be this threshold. Very weird, I did not expect that. But regardless, all those robots went twice. This one obviously needs to go twice. And I'm gonna send it again. Hopefully it won't. It had to have aired out somehow. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I've never seen one do this. So I'm gonna send it out again. Not going to record it because that'll be boring, but then I'll show you once it's done uh, what it does and what it misses. I'm very surprised that it missed all this. I don't know why. Roborock, don't let me down, bro. I put good word out for you. All right, still on max. Going for the second clean jab. Let's do it. Well, how about you do the whole room this time? You can really feel that exhaust from all the way back here. And how the heck did it get chips up on top of it? That's weird. <laughs> Those weren't there when I started, I don't think. And now it's, I don't know. We'll just have to see how this guy does. Now it's kind of starting over the mess that it missed. Which once again does not make sense. Well, we'll see. I'll let this run for the second time. Max mode. And once it's done, I'll come back and show you exactly what it got or missed. Hopefully it gets everything. But I try to show you how it is out of the box. I don't cheat nothing. So I could easily re-record that and I might clean it absolutely perfectly. So, like I said, I don't even know what it's doing now. Why did it just spin around? All right, let's see what this guy does. I will be back when it's done. In the meantime, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. It helps me out a ton. And I'll see you in a little bit. All right, it is done with the second job. As you guys know, I love Roborock. This actually took a, quite a while for both tests. It was about 50 minutes total. And in just a second, I'll show you how it did. Something seems, just seems off with this. It is only the first test I've done. I did update the firmware. But I really thought it would get everything spotless on the first run. However, it looks fine after the second run. So it actually looks really good after the second run. So I don't know if what exactly went wrong with the first run that it missed that batch. But it definitely surprised me. There's like one chip and that's like literally it. So it did complete the job. It looks excellent. Out of This is probably one of the best jobs they've done out of the 12 robots after they both, after all 12 went and did the job twice on high power. 
So hopefully when I run this guy again on the bigger floor section, it won't have a mess up. But uh, it could, I don't know. It's kind of weird that it messed up the first test. But let me take a look. It's, it's pretty much perfect the second time around. So I will wait till the second test to conclude what I think about this guy. Remember that $99 Ufi ran for 30 minutes total and got up almost everything in this room. So I'm gonna run that Ufi 25C as well as this again with that open area and that extra room. And then we'll see which one does the best job. But still, it just surprised me with that first test. I really thought I was gonna get everything. Not sure why I hiccuped, but regardless, it did an excellent job after both times. So still very happy with it. And we will see in future tests if it messes up again or not. Let's take a look at the dirt bin and then we will check out the rollers and then we'll see how well this guy does with hair. So here's the very large dirt bin, as you can see. And as most of you guys know, I clean this room more than any room in my house with robot vacuums. And it still got up a pretty decent amount of fine debris. So overall, I'm pretty happy. And let's flip it over and check out the rollers. You're only seeing that come through because of the way I tilted it. Some of it fell back into the robot. But as you can see, it does, this thing does do a better job with hair than that Eufy. It's actually hardly any hair. Couple strands, that's not bad. Almost every robot leaves a couple strands. So what do you guys think? Did that surprise you guys as much as it, as it surprised me that it left that much after the first run? Let me know down in the comments. And also, please do me a favor, like and subscribe. And what other tests you want to see with this guy. I will go ahead and do that bigger floor plan test. And then if it does get on that, I might open up to my entire floor plan and see if I can handle it. Thanks for watching and have yourselves an awesome day. See ya.